Mum. Yes. So back in your days, yeah, there was a big divide between Africans and Jamaicans. Why? What was the beef about? Well, I think it's because it's different culture. Mm. And I think some of the Africans are more rougher than Jamaicans. <laughs> but I think you're both similar. It's like you're both looking in a mirror. That's why you probably argue so much. <laughs> no. The Africans are more rougher. Mm. Because, for instance, when I was in hospital having you, mm. this nurse came in the room mm. and I was stretching out for help. Mm. And she just stood there like this. <laughs> And she didn't come and help me. <laughs> and for instance, my mom told me when she was working in a factory in the 60s, mm. there was a lot of Africans and, well, Africans and Jamaicans. Mm. And they, one time they had a fight. Mm. And the African woman bite out the Jamaican woman jaw. <laughs> and she spat it out. <laughs> she bite it and spit it out. Really? Yes. <laughs> So, all right, so how do you feel about Africans now? Like, is your ignorance dropped? Well, the younger ones, oh, they're lovely. Mm. Like, your friends that come to the house, mm. they're lovely. Oh. And manageable. Okay, okay. Yeah. They're more smoother than the older African people. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, it's all good now, yeah? Yes. So, you got that one black friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired of this narrative. It is simply not true. And I don't know where it started. I don't know who is trying to create this propaganda that Africans don't accept us in the diaspora. It is not true. A great majority of them love us and embrace us and want us to come over there and connect with them. Sure, you have a few that may be saying, oh, you know, don't come over here. But I mean, it's one and two. And most of them are just not in their right minds. Just like you have piece of shit Jamaicans, but I'm not going around and saying, oh, Jamaica is hell because you have a few people who aren't very nice. Check the comment section of the last video that I posted. It is full of comments from the continent, all over the continent. Even on Instagram, I have 50K followers on Instagram. About 90% of them are Africans. Africans love us, especially Jamaicans. Okay, maybe they don't like black americans so much right and you can understand you know i love my black american brothers and sisters but y'all are hard to deal with sometimes especially when you come to other places where other african people are you know you come with your entitlement you come with your attitude you come with your complaining like it's very difficult to deal with y'all because you're american you know and that's just the truth but we, st we love in the same way you know but it's not just hard for dealing but africans love jamaicans they love jamaicans ghana they act just like us they actually act like us that's how much they love us come on and the rest of Af ethiopia do you know there's something that i've picked up right when going through people's comments about Africa, about the development of Africa, about Africans coming together as a collective, about BRICS, etc., you know, and how it will benefit Africa. And there is a specific group of people that consistently, if you go through the comments, are there. And this is me giving them a shout out for constantly and always being supportive of Africa. And these are the Jamaicans. Without fail, under anything positive or anything negative about Africa, you will find Jamaicans supporting Africa, standing up for Africa, and just being part of the conversation and always saying that we are one. So this is me saying thank you. Do you think of yourself more as an African than a Jamaican? Yeah, because one of the main things is that we're Rasta. From you accept Rasta, you become a Ethiopian, which is Africa. Next thing again, the history of Jamaica shows that the Arawak Indian was living there, and it belonged to the Arawak Indian. Now, our history show that through slave business, Black people come out of the West and team, you know? So we still figure, say, Africa is a route, you know?
and this is where we must return to. So, do you would you like to visit Africa? I would absolutely like to visit Africa. I will say back in the day, I did not mm -hmm. because it was more of a commercialized thing that in Africa it was very poor. Yes. Um, most people are hungry. Mm -hmm. You always mm -hmm. see the little mm -hmm. kids with mm -hmm. the belly and the flies mm -hmm. on them. And mm -hmm. so it was painted as a horrible place. Mm -hmm. And then as I got older, I realized like Africa is actually very beautiful. There's a lot of money in Africa mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. a lot of white people have found Africa before Rich we on, did. Sis. So they have Rich a lot of business on, over there. They're mm -hmm. starting to try to westernize certain places. Mm -hmm. And so me as a person in America, because yes. I don't want to say African American, but a person in America yes. needs to get on board with mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, they, this this was an excellent <laughs> interview. So you know, when I was a little boy, when I was still a, a little African, we used to have this uh, musician, he was coming from South Africa, uh, he was called uh, Lucky Dube. Yeah. So I came to know he's from South Africa later on, because the reason why I came to know he was from South Africa later on was because he was singing reggae, you know, reggae music, um, he was a very, very popular singer, and I think he died somewhere in 2006. Somewhere in the early, somewhere before 2010 is when he died. Yeah, he was shot down by some robbers. Now, the reason why I was thinking that this musician was not, the reason why I thought, or the reason why I knew that he's from South Africa later on, is because I had my mindset. I always knew he came from Jamaica. Because he was singing reggae music, I thought he was from Jamaica. You know, Jamaicans, uh, sing uh, the reggae music. The reggae music has its roots from Jamaica. So I knew all reggae musicians are from Jamaica. As an African, you can't blame us for that. And we, I never knew where Jamaica was. As a child, uh, you are told there is a big landmass. This landmass is where you live, it is called Africa. I also thought Africa was, some certain, was a country in itself. That is what I thought before. I always thought that Jamaica was somewhere very close to Africa or in Africa itself. Until when I joined my, um, I think I joined my secondary school. When I became a, I joined high school is when I came to know. We have Africa as a continent. We have South Africa as a country. And we have Jamaica as a very small country far away from Africa somewhere in the Caribbean Sea. I always thought, oh my. So this is where all musics are coming from. Lucky Dube was just doing a music genre that is from this country. So as an African, I would say, I always thought Jamaica was from Africa because you guys look a lot like Jamaicans. Another, another type of music that, another musician that I grew up knowing was uh, Glenn Washington. Glenn Washington was really uh, uh, echoing the streets of Nairobi. I, I knew this musician, he was called uh, Culture, Mighty Culture. He sang this called Riverside. I knew of this musician, you before, you thought he was a white person. I always thought you, you before it was black people, a group of people from Africa. I came to know, no, 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 it's not true, it's not true. Just because somebody is singing reggae does not necessarily mean they're from Jamaica. Is if somebody is speaking Swahili and is from, if somebody is speaking Swahili, does not necessarily mean they are from Kenya or Tanzania. No, they can be from the U.S. They just learned the language and they know it. You know. Now we have these uh, things. Uh, Africans think of Jamaica. You know, we have all these. We have uh, the personality of Jamaicans in uh, to Africans. And also what, uh, what, what Jamaicans think of Africans and what Africans think of Jamaicans. Right, we all know, yeah, that all black people originate from Africa. We know that and we're proud, yeah? But you know you got Afrobeats and you got Bashment, yeah? Both of them are nice. So when you go out, make it equal. Don't be trying to play 10 Afrobeats tune and then all the Africans expect us to dance away to their tunes. Yes, they are nice. But our tunes are good too. So when we're playing 10 
fucking bashment, yeah? Don't be there screwing up your face after the second or third one or be laughing. What's funny about our music, huh? I've been dancing to a chicka bar, a chicka bar, a chicka bar, a ma pita, a chicka bar, a chicka bar, a chicka bar, a What the fuck is that? Up to now, I don't even know what the fucking song says, but I love it. Do you get me? <laughs> so when you're hearing our tune, you might not know what the man is saying, the Jamaican man, because sometimes they talk harsh, yeah? Just dance to the beat like we dance to the beat of your tunes. Simple. Myself, I've told you mine. I always thought that all Jamaicans are singers. Anybody who sings music of reggae, in the genre of reggae, is a Jamaican. That's what I always thought. Now, I was interested. I, w I found it very funny that a lot of Africans don't know about Jamaica. Yes, we really don't know about Jamaica. So let's continue watching this and you'll get convinced that it's not our fault that we have these stereotypes. It is that we are disinformed, not misinformed, but disinformed. Perhaps we might be misinformed as well. So let's dive in and see. You're Jamaican, right? Oh We're God, African. here we go. I know you're, you're trying to take it there. Just ignorant Jamaicans. Huh? I just want to repeat the question. Are you Jamaican or African? question in and of itself is inherently flawed and reeks of bad faith because one jamaica is a country and africa is a continent secondly when that question are you jamaican or are you african is asked the question is not about a ancestry it's about a present day identity so jamaicans are very much aware and claim their african ancestry any claiming the modern state of ghana claiming that the majority of enslaved jamaicans came from the gold coast while others lay claim to the modern state of Nigeria, claiming terms such as Red Evo and words like Uno being their rationale. And there's even a few who cite Sierra Leone as their ancestral place of origin due to the fact that many enslaved Jamaicans actually were sent back to Sierra Leone and the similarity between Jamaican Patois and Sierra Leone Creole. We are fancy. We're from Kumasi. That's the Rasta Rasta is from this road. I know. Yeah. Explain Go to back. me about Jamaica again. I have no problem. Oh, yeah. I said the Neither real name one. of Jamaica is known oh, as Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. That's so a name, that's a Shanti oh, language. Oh, and that tells the slaves oh, that oh, they have oh, stacked oh, from oh, this oh, land, which are no longer go, 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 go to Africa. Yeah. And then one of the slave masters used the Ashanti language yeah. to name the town. Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica. Oh, okay. Jamaica. Uh -huh. The real name is Jamaica. Jamaica. And that tells the slave that we have stacked from this land, which yeah. are no longer go back to Africa. Oh. And then one of the slave masters used that name to name the town Jamaica to hold them. Yeah, Jamaica is Jamaica. That's the name Jamaica. Ashanti, Kumasi. You from Kumasi? You are from Kumasi. That's where your root is from. So when you get to Kumasi, the way you dress, the way you eat, your house, your everything really looks like this. Jamaica as well. Yes. So a lot of Jamaicans like to go to Because I don't get too busy that you can't check out the truth. Because the truth is there. And Africa awaits its creators. And we know that the people in the West. Ed Wise. It's them ready, you know. It's them have to learn. Come learn. What them learn in the West, they have to care to them people. Make it be a benefit to the people. Because I mean, how long must the black people suffer? And these are people, you know? And then we have our own culture, we have everything. We don't shout at anything. We have everything. Plus, we have a land that no one is living there. And we must go home to it. And when you go home, you can build all of these big buildings if you want. I mean, if you miss a city, build a city. You know what I mean? If you want a car, you can get a car. I mean, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see the big thing. One time America was, was, you know what I mean, maybe used to have lots of all, all, all. Speaking of Jamaican, what are the differences you think in Jamaican households and regular African? Discipline. Explain. Jamaicans don't play. African Americans just yell and talk stuff like, don't let me come back there, don't, 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 don't let me have to, Jamaicans ain't giving you no warning. First of all, they're gonna send you to get the belt and tell you to pick your own belt, like there's cherries or apples or something. You're gonna get told something once or twice. There's no going back and forth. There's no negotiating. By the second time, you're getting popped. There's no, I done told you, don't let me have to, that third time, I done told you now, Tiberius, don't let me come back there. That kid going to jail. You don't got warned too much. 
they highlighted that Spare the Rod, Spoil the Child chapter. That's on a plaque in Jamaican houses. Right, right. Did you experience a lot of racism growing up white in Jamaica? Very minimal. But I do remember one very racist moment. I couldn't have been more than six. A fellow classmate, a very young girl at the age of six as well, would sing to me, Black is beauty, red is corruption. Black is beauty, red is corruption. Now that I'm 40, I realize how deep that actually went. To think that here is this young girl, and she's been taught by her parents to sing Black is beauty and red is corruption. And that's also an important lesson to teach your children. Because racism... We also have other propagandas that Africans... Or Jamaicans think of Africans and some people are trying to spread this news in a way that it's not really really nice some people are saying that Africans don't like Jamaicans that if Jamaicans come to the Africa continent we will chase them away we won't treat them well well let me tell you this it's not true it's all false how different is a Jamaican from from a black American how different are they if we live how they speak, you know, their Jamaican accent, if we put that away, how different is a Jamaican from an African-American? If it were a white person, it would, have, it would have been different, you know? Africans, Kenyans, Ghanaians, South Africans, all countries in Africa accept black Americans, you know? All countries, mostly in the sub-Saharan Africa. We really accept black Americans because we consider us one people. We consider us one people who have the share the same bloodline and all this and all that. Now, if we can accept black Americans, I don't find a reason why someone should not accept black uh, Jamaicans. In fact, there's a time I went to this uh, restaurant in Nairobi city where we had uh, Jamaican food. So Jamaicans are also in Jamaica. Jamaica are also, in, are also in Kenya having a restaurant. You can't have a restaurant in a place that people don't like you. You tell me, can you have an, a restaurant where people don't like you? I don't think it's true. Africans love black people, no matter Jamaican, no matter black American. So this myth has been demissed. Personally, all these things that um, Jamaicans think of Africa or Africa think of Jamaica, it's just the misinformation we've gotten. It's just that many of us have not had the privilege of traveling outside Africa to see what's really outside our borders. And so um, Jamaica shares a lot of resemblance. It shares a lot of similarities between itself and African continent. We have the Maroon people. We have the Patwa, the Patwa dialect in Jamaica. You know, you will find that some of the languages being spoken in Jamaica have a very similar linguistic uh, simi okay have they have a uh, linguistic similarities with some of the language being spoken in West Africa in particularly those West African countries that border the Atlantic Ocean you know um, of course all Africa all West African countries border the Atlantic Ocean but countries like Sierra Leone countries like Liberia countries like Ghana, these countries border the, the Atlantic. We have Nigeria. Nigeria also borders the Atlantic. So these uh, languages, some of the languages being spoken here are being spoken there. You know, it's just the issue of slave trade and how people went over there. The same way a black American is to Africa, it's the same way Jamaica is to Africa. You know, the language and the dialect that uh, the Jamaicans have is because they were not so much intermingled with the white people in, in the United States of America. I do believe they have not been to Jamaica. I do believe we have few, 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 few white people in Jamaica. In terms of percentage, the percentage of white people to black people in Jamaica is less compared to the percentage of white people to black people in the USA, in the United States of America. In the USA, the percentage is larger, and in Jamaica, it's lower. So. The African Americans tend uh, took up that linguistic form over the century. They took the linguistic form and became the, it became their own identity. The Jamaicans took their own linguistic form. It's an island, remember? Jamaica is an island in the Caribbean. So they took their own linguistic form and that's why they speak like they do. And I really love how they speak. Um, it's interesting. 
but the fact that it has connections with Africa cannot be broken. It's, it's always be there. Um, the stereotypes we have, we beg you Jamaicans to forgive us about this. Uh, it's just stereotypes, uh, it's just misinformation. Some of us think that Jamaicans, uh, all Jamaicans use bang, bang is marijuana. No, it's not true. I'm told that in Jamaica we have very many churches in Jamaica. Yeah. And this tells us a lot. Jamaicans are religious. Jamaicans trust in the Most High God. Jamaicans are... We are one people with Jamaica. And uh, one time, if God allows us, uh, we shall come and visit you, our brothers from the Caribbean. So if you are from the Caribbean, kindly uh, give the video a super thanks. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. Give the video a subscription. Subscribe to get more uh, African, Jamaican content. And also, you can become a member to the channel where you will have a, a, you can support the channel through that, okay? So thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one where we will have a, more a conversation about Africa and Jamaica. I love you Jamaicans. I love Kingston. See you in the next vid. Okay, so do we say Wagwan, Bombo Clutch? Let's dive into this video. Wagwan, Bombo Clutch.